With cybercrime costs expected to grow 15% per year for the next five years, your online security has never been more critical. Today we'll talk about a few ways you can set up a secure network. Our first point of concern is physical location. Place your device in a location that is not easily accessible to the public to prevent tampering. Also, make sure your device's Wi-Fi range doesn't exceed what's necessary to mitigate unwanted access from any unauthorized parties. Next, it's crucial for your router's password to be strong and secure. 80% of all data breaches happen due to weak passwords, like for example, password. Right out of the box, routers use a default password. If that password isn't changed into a stronger one, your network is at risk. That's why, when setting up our routers, we'll ask you to create a new and better one. A strong password is no less than 12 characters and includes numbers, symbols, uppercase and lowercase letters. We suggest not to use dictionary words as they're easy to guess and avoid obvious substitutions like at symbol for an A, free for an E, and similar. There are multiple sites on the web for checking your password strength. Here is one of them if you'd like to test yours now. But changing the password is not enough. You should also change the SSID, the name of your Wi-Fi network. This helps to avoid confusion between networks, as manufacturers typically use their company name and a random combination of numbers and letters by default. It also makes it harder for attackers to recognize the manufacturer of your router and exploit its known weak spots. One threat to be mindful of is brute force attacks. That's when hackers input as many possible password combinations as they can, hoping that one of them will be correct. There's also a security option that can block users' IP addresses or prevent them from logging in after several failed attempts. The best practice is to simply limit unnecessary access of other users to the network and keep a separate admin account. You should also review your access permissions so that regular users wouldn't be able to reach connected devices and mess around with them. Moving on, make sure to disable any unnecessary networking protocols, especially default ones like SSH, HTTP, and CLI. You can also change the ports these protocols use, although doing so will not provide any serious security against a targeted attack, but changing the default port will deter some of the non-targeted attacks that rely on automation. The Domain Name System Protocol, or DNS for short, is essentially the Internet's phone book. It helps users and network devices discover websites using website addresses instead of having to start memorizing IP addresses. If you don't configure your DNS server, the device will use the default path for requesting this information via your internet service provider. How secure this actually is depends entirely on how much you trust your provider. Using the default DNS server means your provider can track your internet habits, which is something you might care about. There are dedicated DNS servers which are theoretically more resilient to attacks like DNS poisoning. We also prevent your ISP from viewing your requested host names. In your router's web UI, you can find the appropriate boxes and enter the new primary and secondary server addresses. And lastly, remember to update the firmware regularly. Security is a never-ending battle, and each new update closes the latest security holes. If you're looking to update your firmware quickly and remotely, check out our remote management system. And that does it. If you follow all of these bits of advice, you and your company will be much safer from outside threats. Should you like to learn more about securing your network, we'll go into more advanced topics in the coming videos of this series. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to get notified about new episodes.